Hi everyone, Dave from Buzzy here. In this video we're going to look at sorting and filtering with the Buzzy Figma plugin. So here's a demo app I'm working on. It's a simple to-do list. I've designed it in Figma and published it via the plugin and you'll notice it's showing me a bunch of tasks on the home screen here with a due date sorted by the oldest due date at the bottom and the newest at the top. I'd like to reverse that. I want to sort them with the oldest due date at the top. So let's jump into our design file. Here it is. Now this is the home screen we were just looking at. There's my menu of results. And this is the Buzzy plugin here. If we jump to the design tab, you'll see that's the menu that I've defined. It's pulling in items or tasks from a micro app we've called Tasks, showing 10 at a time with a load more button. Now at the bottom of this form here, we have a sorting and a filtering field. So these are the ones we want to use, but before we can, we need to make sure that these fields are going to be available. So if we jump to the data tab, there's our micro app that we've defined and the fields available. There's four fields. There's a due date and a completed one, um, completed toggle. So these are the important ones. Now we need to define these as key fields. A key field is what Buzzy uses to sort and filter results by, and you get six per micro app. So we'll make the due date the first one. Go back and then we'll edit the completed toggle. Again, you go to edit the field definition down the bottom, key field, this one will be number two. And that's it. And you'll see it there, that's the second key field, that's the first one. So if we jump back to our design tab, now go back to our sorting field down here and we can sort by due date and it needs to be ascending. So that's it for the basic sorting by date. So if we go to publish our app, we'll update it, let this run. Okay, now if we jump over to our app preview, here it is. It's just refreshing itself, there it goes. And you'll notice our task list has sorted by due date with the oldest at the top moving down. Was that easy? Now, it takes care of the first part of sorting. Let's say we want to filter this as well. So on this screen, what I'd like to do, I want to show only to-do items. So things that haven't been marked as completed yet, and the others will be available on these additional screens I've set up for view all, where you can then sort by date, which we haven't applied yet. We'll jump back to to-do. So this one, I want to sort by the due date but I also want to filter it and I want to filter out the completed items. So let's go do that. Here's the menu we've got. Jump back to the design tab, it's already selected. And go down to our filter field. And what we need to do here is we want to filter out the completed items that are marked as complete. So we'll pick the filter field that's completed toggle and we want to make it either equals false or not equals true. So this is going to go through our tasks and filter out the ones that have not been marked as completed. Then it will apply the sorting. So in terms of the order of things, first the filtering gets applied, so it'll get all the tasks, filter out the ones that aren't completed, then sort them by due date ascending. While we're here, we can just quickly go into these other two screens and we can just sort these two. So these are this one's going to show all the tasks, including the completed ones, but we want to show this by due date ascending. And this one down here, it's the same menu, but we want to sort this by due date descending. And I've already set up the nav, so these two, this due date button here and this one up here will jump between the two screens. So we'll have the home screen that shows us only the incomplete items and these two view all menus that will show us all of the items and they're all sorted by due date. So we'll go and publish. Now if we jump back to our preview, you'll notice it's just refreshed, but you'll notice the task just vanished. So we now only have four items marked as incomplete. If we go to view all, showing us all the items. The first one was marked as complete, so it shows in this view all kind of view. If we toggle back to due date, 
running the other way, you'll see the oldest are now at the bottom. If we go back to the to-do list, it's filtered out the ones that are marked as complete. If I mark one of these as complete and go back, it's now gone from this list, but it'll show up in these lists. So that's it. Basic sorting and filtering with the Buzzy Figma plugin. Thanks for watching.